The following program is brought to you by Caltech. Hi. When I was 15 years old, growing up in Singapore, one of the things I really wanted to do was to learn a martial art. So when my school offered a summer wushu course, I signed up with my good buddy, Dio. Our first lesson was on a cold Sunday morning. We went there and saw the sensei. He was this man of short stature. He, he had a thin goatee and a thin mustache, wrinkly skin. Uh, he commanded great respect, it seemed like. He really looked the part, very, very Yoda-esque. <laughs> he, um, so, so we introduced ourselves, we did some stretching, and then it was time for the exercises. He explained the first exercise to us. We were to stand on opposite ends of the 100 meter track, look at each other, uh, two people would stand on opposite ends, look at each other and run towards each other. And when we got close, we were to dodge. And how we would know uh, which direction to dodge would be done by communicating with our eyes. We had to use instinct and eye contact to figure out how to dodge. I was, I've always been kind of science-y. I wanted to know what, what the mechanistic explanation for this communication system would be. <laughs> I, um, I, I, I asked the sensei, uh, sir, uh, how, how we do this. He, he, he said, um, trust yourself, you must. <laughs> he, uh, and said, fear not. I, so, so I, perhaps, perhaps it, perhaps, perhaps it was the humility in me. Perhaps it was, it was my non-confrontational nature. I was an introvert. I am. Uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps I just wanted to believe in the force or some something bigger than myself. I, I, um, I did not question him further. So, so naturally, Dio and I were the first ones to go. Right. So, so we stood on opposite ends of the track, and the sensei said, "Go," and we started running towards each other. Um, we were 15, very enthusiastic, not, not that smart. <laughs> we, we, we ran towards each other as hard as we could. We wanted to impress the sensei. So we ran as hard as we could. And when we got close to each other, we realized we didn't have a plan. We, were look, we just then started to look at each other. And we realized it was too late. We had a microsecond. We just dodged. We just turned. I turned left. Dio turned right. But he turned his right. So now. <laughs> So now we collided. And the collision itself, if, if I wasn't involved in it, it would have been a thing of beauty. It, 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 was, it was huge. My, my shoulder collided into his eye. And both of us recoiled, and we stumbled, and we fell. We were taken to the corner of the field. Dio started throwing up over the drain. Um, I looked at my shoulder. It seemed to not quite start in the right place. It, my arm was dislocated. It, it, it started a little outside of where it normally starts. Um, the sensei explained to me that it was dislocated. It wasn't a big deal. He said, don't worry. He put one arm on my shoulder, the other on my wrist, and just swung my arm in a big circle. And as the arm popped back into the socket, pain. Pain like I have never felt in my entire life, till then or since, washed over me. It was a wave. My vision went black. My knees started to buckle. But and then it was just over. It, it, it lasted uh, for a really short time. Before I hit the floor, it was over. And I regained control of my legs. I, I looked at my arm, and suddenly I could move it. Actually, it was fine. And Sensei knew some of his stuff. So then I looked at Dio. He was next to me, still throwing up. He wasn't doing so good. Um, I asked him what was wrong. And he said, oh, um, I'm seeing double everything I see. There's one of it, and there's another one of it. So. So we weren't sure what was going on. We called 999. The ambulance came. They took, they, they took him to Liz Lemon Hospital. I've changed the name of the hospital to, 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 to protect myself and, and the hospital. Um, uh, uh, they took him to Liz Lemon Hospital. Liz Lemon Hospital is infamous in Singapore because apparently they make lots of mistakes. They give people wrong injections. They, they mistreat them. I don't know. It's, it's lots of uh, word of mouth stories about this hospital. The doctors told him, nothing was wrong with you. You'll be fine in a couple of weeks. Your double vision will clear up. So we believed the doctors. Uh, two weeks later, naturally, nothing had changed. So we decided to get a separate consult from a, different, uh, from a specialist at Singapore General Hospital. They did an x-ray, and they found that Dio's upper eye socket had shattered. And the shards of bone were embedded in his eyeball. I have no idea 
how doctors at Liz Lemon missed this. But Dio got, got a surgery, and, and he was fine. Uh, a, a, a year later, his vision cleared up, and now he sees fine. Um, we went back to the school, and, and the wushu master was never allowed to teach there again. And, <laughs> and if there's anything I've learned from this is to, if I have my doubts, I should give them due credit, and to not abdicate my instincts in face of authority, regardless of which trilogy the authority reminds me of. Thank you. <laughs>